Welcome back. I'm on OSCP. This is my week two. Um, last week I didn't do a video. I was too caught up in life and and other things. Um, but I did put up a real quick blog on my site moneyflux.com, and I pro also promised that I would do uh, week two. So here we are. Um, so so now I've had two whole solid weeks of OSCP coursework. Um, uh, I'm actually I'm excited to continue going. Um, I'm about maybe not halfway through the book, but maybe a little less than half, whatever that is, a quarter, a quarter plus. Um, I'm kind of slacking on the videos, so I, I do need to catch up on some of those videos. So I'll do that today. Um, and then I've also taken a look, a little dive into the network lab, into what the the initial network is. Um, you know, going through the book, I did some ping sweeps, um, looked at some ports of some of the machines. You know, did a little. I did a really quick preliminary look around here about what's going on in the network. So I haven't really dove in yet. I'm not. I uh, haven't started actively tacking any machines. Um, just kind of looking around, seeing what's going on, and also going through the coursework. I haven't really learned anything r really crazy new, uh, which is kind of a good thing and probably a bad thing. It's probably a good thing because I'm not so much of a noob as I probably thought I was. And it's a bad thing because um, I haven't learned anything, really. So uh, hoping to, to continue on and report back to you guys uh, some of the crazy things that I learned. Um, I did also mention last week that I'm going to try to think about or figure out ways to do little contests here and there. Um, so as I told you before, I'm a subscriber of Wired Magazine. It's a pretty good magazine. I like it. Um, and they happen to send me this renewal. I'm up for renewal, so I have to, I'm definitely going to do that. But they also sent me this thing. I don't know if you can see it. I'll put it right here. It's like a... Uh, if I renew, I get to send a subscription to someone for free. It's like a free gift. So I pay for my subscription and then I give them the information for someone else. So I forget, hey, this came in the mail a few weeks ago. I was like, you know what? Um, maybe I should just give one to one of my subscribers. So if you see this video or if you like my videos, you subscribe. I'll do one of those random, uh, you know, YouTube random subscribe list things and just it'll pick somebody and I'll just I'll contact you for I probably just need your obviously I'll need your address if you want the physical copy sent to you but um, you know I'll just I'll just do that on the side you know see how that works uh, if you want a free wire subscription go ahead and subscribe uh, maybe you don't care for magazines or maybe someone else cares for magazines I don't know at, at I'm sitting right now I'm at 45 46 subscribers so I mean chances are good you know what I mean so um, go ahead and just do that I'll send this out I'll contact you if you care for wired Wired Magazine, free Wired Magazine subscription. Okay, so got that out of the way. Um, let's see. So two weeks of OSCP. i tell you what I have learned about the actual course uh, material. And uh, so basically, nothing works out of the book step by step. So for instance, you know, they have the labs here. You go through... Uh, the, they want you to use their PWK virtual machine and there's nothing wrong with that I understand that there's certain things that they say they're adamant about uh, you using that specific one for the exam and for the labs because some things like buffer overflow or whatever other things might not work but I can tell you so from so far from the start nothing has worked out of the book and you know I don't know if this because this virtual machine is a year or two old the book is old it hasn't been updated or you know just the version numbers change over time I've been having I've been finding myself getting frustrated not with learning things but for things not working inside the book and obviously I can't get into too many specifics about the coursework but uh, if you're thinking about starting OSCP or you know you want for more information on it uh, I can tell you from experience uh, the course the coursework is great it's good to learn but do not expect anything to work out of the box, word for word, step by step in this coursework. Um, what I have been doing is going to the OFSEC forums, which is a great resource. Uh, uh, a lot of the same issues that I've been running into out of the coursework 
and uh, you know the problems and uh, things that's that's been just messing up others in the forums have also been dealing with so I've, I've almost every issue that I've ran into someone's talked about in the forum and there's a solution so big ups to the offset forums they're definitely a great resource if you start this program do not expect to go through the book just by yourself and follow along without running into some issue something not working properly error messages things won't install I'm telling you just expect it and it's kind of like I don't, I'm not sure if that was done purposefully I feel like it possibly you know was done on purpose so you can learn how to fix problems and learn how to research and think outside the box and that makes sense if that's the case but for someone like me like I'm a type of I learn through watching and doing uh, you know step A step B step three or whatever whatever that doesn't make sense but I, I like to learn going through it once the right way the first time and so I find that uh, having to stop and look up an error or try to fix something that in the videos and the book is not even mentioned is kind of like it's kind of putting a stop to that. But I won't say I'm not learning anything. I'm definitely learning how to research problems and look at forums and uh, you know go out there and try to fix things myself. But I personally would like or would appreciate to go through a problem. You know, if if I'm going through a course and the versions are supposedly the same and everything's the same, I would personally would like to just go through it one time at least once, learn the concept of what I'm trying to learn. And then in the future, if there's issues with, you know, learn debugging and all that stuff later down the line. Um, and that's, that's me personally. Um, so I, did, I do find that I'm spending more time trying to fix things that are not working out of the book than actually learning what's in the book. Um, but again, it's all a learning, it's all a learning experience. It is probably by design. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if it was by design. Um, maybe that's just the way they designed the course, you know? Uh, maybe they, they put things in here to where, you know, you follow along and then you run into an error and then instead of having an immediate answer in the book anywhere, you know, they want you to go to the forum, so they want you to research, they want you to learn more about fixing issues as they arise rather than just showing you how to do something and then, uh, you know, out in the field or the real world, you know, you run into an issue and then you're kind of like, well, I don't know what to do now. This is not working. So it's probably all for the better. Um, let me say again that uh, besides, besides, I'll be at besides October 26, 28. Um, I'm going with a couple of friends. It's like a huge hacking uh, seminar learning type of thing out here in the D.C. area. Um, it's for three days. Well, yeah, 26, 27, 28. Me personally, uh, I am going to be at two of the class. So far, I've only signed up for two of the classes, um, which is one is the Blue Team uh, CTF class and the Wireless Hacking class. Um, if you go to the B-Sides website, you can look up, you know, sign up, look up. I, I would recommend doing that as soon as possible because, I mean, if you're in this area because um, they fill up fast and... Uh, one of the huge ones that I did want to do, reverse binary, reverse engineering was sold out with a matter of eight hours. You know, they, they said the, the class was available at 12 midnight. Obviously, I was asleep. Um, got up by eight or so in the morning, checked, and it was sold out. So in eight hours, that class was gone. So uh, definitely get on that if you're looking into convention besides. Okay, so... Um, Obviously, since I'm in the course at the moment, uh, you know, I, I've, I'm under an NDA. Anybody who's in the course is under NDA to not talk about specifics of the course, you know, the lab problems, um, because, you know, future students and current students are supposed to learn on their own. So I can't get into too much about uh, specifics. Um, I did, you know, I did share with you about my experience with the coursework and how things don't work and you need to you know look at the forums and whatnot um for a lot of the help with the issues um what I, what else would i say about let's see what else would i hint about as far as time i i'm struggling with time management at the moment um you know i work a nine to five monday through friday uh you know i get home and i'm tired i want to relax chill whatever but 
Um, I've been averaging about two, two hours on a week night, a weekday night. And for the weekends, you know, I'm anywhere from five to six or more. Um, I, I feel, honestly, I don't feel like I'm putting the time that I should be. So, but, but also in my defense, I haven't really scheduled the test or, or set a date for it. So I'm not, I'm not working against the clock so much. I guess the clock that I will be working against is the, my 60 days, which right now I think I'm at 40 something. Um, I have 40 days left in the lab. I can extend it, of course. I can uh, take a break from it and do hack the box in between, which is what I'm probably going to do. But um, I keep hearing from other other OSCP test takers and, and people that have gotten, gotten the course or passed the exam that time management and organization is important. So I'm still working through the time management. Um, as far as organization, I'm naturally an organized person, but I know uh, as I get closer to my exam date, I'm going to have to be better with organizing my tools scripts, uh, uh, my documentation process. I haven't even begun or started any type of documentation process. I'm just just going through the book. So, uh, you know, I, I definitely have a lot more to go. Um, if you have any tips or tricks uh, for things like that, go ahead and, you know, send them in the comments. Uh, go to my blog. You can comment on the blog. But um, definitely uh, still a lot to learn. Two weeks in. Um, still excited. Still making these videos. Uh, sorry again for missing one last week, but you know, life happens. I'm going to definitely do one next week and the following weeks and just try to keep on, uh, doing these. Um, I appreciate you guys, uh, you know, checking me out, subscribing again. Remember I got the wired magazine contest. So if you want a free publication, free media, I mean, I find a lot of value in the wired magazine. Um, maybe I could find one for Linux and user and developer or find some other type of technical magazines or books. Um, as I said, I'm just going to try to find more, more things to share, more contests to run or whatnot. But um, until next week, uh, go ahead and hit my site. Hit the uh, subscribe, like, share, comment, do what you got to do. Appreciate you guys. And then I'll be seeing you next week. Peace.